Nick, how much, how much time went into the design of, of the, the routes you guys were going to run and how, how you put it together? What was that process like? Um, so I actually have been working with Coach Fairchild, um, and he kind of came up with this script uh, just from working with uh, some guys in the past few classes. And um, from there, we kind of took over and put a ton of time into it. Um, I went through each route with all these guys, went through the whole script um, at least four or five times through and through. Um, you know, made sure we, we knew exactly what we were doing out there. I knew exactly what to expect from them, and they knew exactly what to expect from me. Um, I think it ended up working out well, but credit to Steve for, for putting it together. Um, I think he really showcased everybody's abilities, um, showed them all the throws and catches we need to. Um, and then, you know, obviously to all those guys for making it to those workouts. What kind of benefits did you get from working with Steve, and how did you guys get kind of paired together? Um, actually, I think my agent recommended uh, I worked with them and I met with them and uh, made sure that that's what I wanted to do. And uh, my wife and I actually met with him and his wife um, and loved him. And the first day, I definitely saw improvement. I think one of the main things he increased was my velocity on the ball. Um, just kind of some lower body mechanics that he helped, helped me out with. Uh, out there, I felt accurate. I felt like I was throwing the ball well today, spinning it okay, and, and putting some velocity on it. So I think it's helped out a ton. He's a great coach, really knows his stuff, been around the game for a while. Um, knows a lot about schematically, uh, you know, football. I have a really good background with Coach Bobo, and they've done a really good job of, of teaching me that stuff. So he had a ton of stuff to share with me for that. But um, like I said, I, I had a good foundation, so we didn't spend as much time on kind of the mental game because uh, I had a head start there. But... A lot of work went into this uh, script today. What are, when you're talking to NFL teams, when you're talking to your agent, what are you hearing, what are you hopeful for out of the process? They tell me not to tell you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm hearing good feedback um, from who I talked to today. They said I threw the ball well. Uh, looked good out there. Definitely saw some increased velocity, which is good. Um, so I need to put on a little bit of weight. Um, gain some strength in the lower body. Everybody always can. Um, just kind of going to be hearing what, what's happening from here. It's kind of a waiting game. Uh, work out here and there when you need to uh, for teams. And um, But, yeah, that's, that's all. <laughs> so this is a big part for you, really, just now staying optimistic, staying hopeful, just keep working. Yeah, just keep working, uh, making sure I'm prepared for any workouts that I have to do either here or at – um, you know, a team's facility, but it is kind of a waiting game from here. Just kind of going to see where where everything plays out and where you land. Um, I'm excited and think it's going to be, um, you know, a, a great process. And definitely going to ha- keep working to make sure I'm at the top of my game for those workouts. You mentioned that you you added more velocity. Michael, big thing. He said he's been working on it with Lauren Lando as the, the burst and, and kind of that, that quickness. Have you noticed any kind of discernible difference in? Um, anything that he's improved physically? Yeah, definitely. I think that, um, you know, you watch him run his 40, he, uh, he's always been a really, really good top seed guy. I think Lauren helped him out, out a lot on the start. Um, I don't even know what he ended up running, but I'm sure it was quite faster than mine. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's been working down there every day, um, getting better and really committed to the process. Um, and I, th- I think it showed in, in the numbers, both at the Combine and here today. Um, my training was more focused on that last piece rather than trying to run a 4-8 and stuff. But um, yeah, it is really good. I think I think Lauren did a really good job um, with the both of us, and we both enjoyed the process with him down there. How much have you had teams asking you about you know Michael specifically and some other teammates? Do they want to know a lot about? Um, you know? Yeah, some do, some don't. Um, you know, a lot of them want to know. I think they try to disguise it and ask about everyone, and they're like, so Michael, like, I actually really, really care now. Um, but, I mean, not, not every team um, asks me, and I'm, I'm sure they, they figure it out eventually, but, um, you know, his film and ability to speak for themselves, and he's a freak, and you can see it just by looking at him. So it's just kind of fun for you guys to have one last day today, or your, you Yeah, know. definitely. I mean, we'll, if they stay in town, I'm staying up here, if they stay in town, we'll 
start. Rude. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll work out uh, here and there and, and make sure we come out and throw the ball around a little bit just to stay um, you know, in top form. But uh, it, you know, it was one, one last go around for, for the old days, so it was, it was cool. Do you get to meet with Rashard Higgins at all? Yeah, I actually, so we went to, we saw them at um, Longhorn Steakhouse last night, him and Trey, um, Hollywood. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I mean, really good to see him back. I saw that he did an interview with Mike and two of them in the same room is pretty neat. Um, be cool to see that on the field someday. But yeah, um, it's really cool that he came back and, and supported us today. Did you get everything that you had hoped for out of today and in the days leading up to today? Um, hope for a couple more inches on the vertical, <laughs> but uh, I felt really, really good about everything else. Um, felt like I threw the ball well. My other, like, tests um, were good. Um, hope for probably a few more completions, but uh, is, it is what it is. I think we all, for the most part, look, look good out there, so that's all you can really ask for. And for now, just just keep working out, just work, work on football stuff instead of working for training for these Olympics. Yeah, so now, so now it's going to be more kind of fine-tuning my craft, so on the ball, uh, be able to put a little bit more weight on and lift more instead of, yeah, working on starts and 40s and L drill and shuttle stuff. Um, doesn't matter a ton for, for my position. Uh, I'll still obviously try to stay as quick as I can. But, um, yeah, it's going to be more trying to put on a little bit of weight, gain some strength, and then continue to improve uh, throwing the ball around. I mean, everyone has, knows what you can do on tape. Everyone knows what you can do. On football. It's just now, is it more just working on the mental side of it when you get those interviews with other teams? Just focus on that side if they drop a play? And is that the kind of thing you got to work on too? I think that's where one of my strong points right now that I impress teams when I meet with them is when they ask me to – there's a situation, drop a play, exactly what you're looking for, what if they bring this, what if they bring that. I've had several interviews like that, and those are the ones that I feel the best about coming out of. Um, some of them has, have pulled up film and said, tell me this play, tell me what you're looking for, same sort of thing. Um, and again, those are the ones I feel best about. So I think that it's mainly going to be putting on weight because that's what they want to see, um, and then just make sure I don't forget how to throw the ball. That is one of your strengths. Everybody says it. It's really easy to come out in a pro day or, or at you know an event and throw the football better than you did a week ago or run the 40 faster. What's it like showing teams that you have progressed mentally, that your mental strength is there? Um, I think you one more time? What's it like and how do you show teams that that's your strength, is the mental side of the game? Um, it's mostly when the, when the opportunity present, presents itself, um, you know, when they ask for me to drop a play and whatnot. Any, any, any opportunity I can get to talk about football I think is, is helpful in, in that interview process. Um, so when I'm meeting with teams wherever I can, try to, try to shift the conversation towards the schematics of the game. Um, is that something that comes up right away, or do you find yourself pushing that conversation? For the most part, it starts. I mean, it starts with just like background stuff, family history. Make sure there's no drug history and medical history. Um, but pretty quickly, it get, they they want to know what you know, um, especially at this position because they're making a, a really big investment in you, and it's hard to have success without knowing what you're doing out there, especially at the next level. Mm -hmm.